common uh, in many businesses to finance the business by purchase by using that money to purchase say fixed assets for example and using the fixed assets then to help generate the revenue but the the loan payable uh the activity with it we don't finance all the time we're not taking loans out all the time usually unless it's like a line of credit situation so you've got the loan is a pretty fixed transaction and if we're paying off the loan steadily then we're going to be paying it in accordance with an amortization type of table the problem there is that we have to deal with interest and principal breakout between those two so we'll so we'll talk about those transactions as we go and then the equity we don't usually post anything to the capital account uh, but instead this account is used after this beginning balance after we did the first thing to just roll over the income statement into now we might have other equity accounts if we're a sole proprietorship for draws the money that we take out of the business which are similar to dividends if it were a corporation except that draws we can take out as the owner anytime we need without permission from the board of directors or anything and whatnot we don't have to worry about other shareholders getting paid the same dividends and that kind of stuff and then we might have investments which is us putting money into the company however hopefully we're not putting money into the company all the time once it gets rolling we are generating revenue and then taking money out in the form of draws so that's the, the general layout. Let's take a look at some other reports that are subsidiary reports to these major reports. So I'm going to duplicate a tab and look at some other common reports that we might be taking a look at. Now, the first one I want to touch on is going to be the, let's go to the accounting reports, the trial balance. The trial balance, I'll just type in up top, trial balance. Many people that, that don't have an account